Hi, I'm Ed Berliner with Burris Company, and I'd like to show you a little bit about what it takes to make a high-quality rifle scope. Now, with so many rifle scopes to choose from in today's marketplace, shooters hunger for information about different brands in order to make what they believe is the right purchase decision. Our hope today is to educate you about how a rifle scope is made and to show you the level of engineering and attention to detail that separates Burris rifle scopes from the rest of the pack. Now, virtually all of today's rifle scopes have four things in common. First, a rifle scope's optical system consists of a lens system comprised of five to seven lenses. Second, because today's rifle scopes are adjusted internally to sight in a rifle, some of the lenses must move left and right and up and down inside the scope. Third, most scopes today are variable magnification, such as a variable three power to nine power. This requires some of the lenses to move forward and backward within the scope. And fourth, all scopes have some kind of a reticle, often referred to as a crosshair, to facilitate the aiming. Now, for example, this is a standard plex reticle that is the most common type of reticle in use today. A typical and relatively simple three to nine rifle scope has 50 to 80 parts. How each part is made, from what kind of material each part is made, and how all of these parts are assembled determines a scope's optical quality and mechanical reliability. Now, as you'll see, Burris puts a lot of resources behind our designs, materials analysis, and the assembly procedures. Let's start with what we can all see on the outside of a rifle scope. The outside of a scope generally consists of an outer tube, the objective lens, the windage and the elevation adjustments, a power ring, and of course, the eyepiece. The outer tube is the foundation of a rifle scope. And just as you want your home to have a solid and a sturdy foundation, you want strength and dependability designed right into the foundation of your rifle scope. Now, although we all recognize that rifle scopes are precision instruments that should be appropriately cared for, Burris realizes that rifle scopes occasionally see some pretty tough use in the field. This, of course, is an example of pretty tough use in the field. Oh, we don't think well, you'll be doing this anytime no, soon, but it gives you an example of the kind of punishment that these rifle scopes can take. That's why Burris makes a major investment in the design and manufacture of the outer tube. Now, uniquely, Burris starts with a large, solid extrusion that looks just like this. Roughly 75 to 90 percent of the raw bar stock is removed when making a Burris outer tube. The result is a true one-piece outer tube with no joints that can fail or leak. And unlike most others, the material has not been bent or stretched, creating stress fractures. Burris also pays close attention to vulnerable areas of the scope and makes these regions thicker. Prime example, the power ring slot, which must be cut into any variable power scope. Here, Burris leaves up to three times more material to assure structural integrity. Another example is the adjustment turret area, where again, Burris scopes have no joints, and the extra thickness assures ruggedness. Some scopes, which include parallax adjustment, will have this additional feature, located as this one is right here at the front of the outer tube, or, in some cases, right on the side of the windage and elevation turret, as in this case.